Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that gives me the ideal opportunity to do exactly that. Round up everything with you guys that's going on in the world of Transformers. It also gives me the opportunity to let you know what's happening with regards to this channel and my Instagram that I run coinciding with this, which is also Toys underscore R Russ. Okay, there's loads to get through today. I've got my little notepad. Again, you'll have to excuse my primitive ways of doing things. But let's get started with some new figures. We've got some third parties. We've got some official figures. We've got loads to get through. So we're going to start with the 3-0 War for Cybertron Nemesis Prime. And there's some great images of this guy, to be fair. He is looking really good. I'm just liking Nemesis Prime at the moment. Um, I can't tell you exactly why, but just that's better. Just really liking the way he's looking. The axe looks fantastic. The detail, the red eyes, the, the red windows. There he is from the back. Just, I'm really liking it. As I say, I'm liking the whole idea with it all. Um, didn't really, again, maybe because Generation 1, they never really had a Nemesis Prime. So it, it's it's interesting for me to see. So I'm liking it. I've got the, the Netflix one, which I think is fantastic. And I'm really liking the looks of that as well. Whether or not it's different enough for me to warrant going for that as well. I don't really know until I perhaps see them in hand. Um, but it's it's a I think it's a great looking figure. Let me know what you think. Moving on to Super Seven figures. Now these again are going to split the fandom completely in half because they don't actually transform, obviously, but they look so so good. So these are a bit like the Red, just a different company that's doing them. So the robot enhanced design. But with these, and I'm sure you'll agree, they come with an absolute abundance of accessories. And look how good that makes Bludgeon look. He looks absolutely stunning and these really are a fantastic homage to Generation 1 and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. There is Grimlock. There is Grimlock that even if I had that figure I can honestly say that I would no way ever display him like that. Never, never, never. That Megatron is brilliant. And again, these, you know, to me, they're, they're homages to, to the Action Masters because of course they were non-transforming. And if ever you want proof of that, it's what I'm about to show you now. It's tracks. Now, this guy here looks brilliant. I do like him, but take a look at that gun and take a look at that weird looking thing just underneath Blaster. This is the, okay, the figure itself looks completely different, but this is the European exclusive Action Master tracks. Um, and he's quite rare, so you might not have seen him before. Again, he was European exclusive, so he wouldn't have, he was very, very, very end of the Generation 1 continuity. But look at that. That is his backpack. That the original toy came with and then not only that i mean they've just a hundred percent copied it so i don't even know they've got away with it so it must be if well they haven't got away with it at all it's an official licensed transformers products there is his gun so them two accessories belong look at that i mean they're identical just change the colors obviously on the backpack um whether I'm going to buy them again, I don't think I will. I would be completely hypocritical to stand here now and say, or sit here now and say, I don't want to buy any non transforming figures because I've got these. And I suppose that's probably the only ones I'm going to be getting. And that was, yeah, just a complete G1. But look at that. <laughs> they do look really good. You can't argue that, it, you know, and I suppose I do. Again, I see people's arguments if they're just looking to display. Of course, that's what they're going to do display. Moving on to the next part, which you can see right there, is of course Masterpiece Crosscut. And again, it's it's totally unlike Hasbro and Takara to use the same mould, isn't it? But there we go. There is Crosscut. What I'm loving about him is he's got this little accessory here. Now, for those of you who didn't really know, that teeny little scooter was initially going to be released with the original skids. Um, and I've actually seen a couple of the original pieces in hand when I was lucky enough to go to the Space Bridge. He had some. He literally had some, again, from the test pieces, from the ones that they were going to do from the old Diaclone days. He he had some. So this is a lovely little homage to that. There is the teeny little scooter and you can see it's going to fit. Not there, obviously, that's the bonnet. But there in the back, it's going to fit inside the masterpiece brilliantly. And to be honest, again, I know it's basically skids, but I do like it. Whether or not, again, I'm going to get it as well, I don't really know. Um, I am just, again, briefly venturing back into the Masterpiece figures. 
just because I like the look of them now. Um, and they're not as bad as they used to be. I mean, if they go silly, silly prices, then we'll have to see. But at the moment with these, and I suppose because they're not as big, um, maybe that's the reason why. Um, they're a bit cheaper as well, obviously. Okay, a couple of things now with regards to Rise of the Beasts. And this does annoy me. I'm not, it really does. Um, yeah, so there's, these are obviously confirmed. And I'm sure you've seen this picture of him before, but it's 100% confirmed that this guy is going to be Mirage. And there is his Autobot badge there. I know it's a Porsche. It's, it's really annoying for me even to say it. I don't like it. I don't know why they're doing it. Um, some people are saying they're doing it intentionally to annoy fans. Whether they're doing that, I think that's silly and very stupid of them if they do but there you go um but with more information on rise of the beast this again this was taken from tf 2005 the website so i think it's on them all to be honest um they're going to put it back so it's going to be now out in december 2022 but again the more alarming thing is we've got pretty much a synopsis now of what it's going to be about and i'm going to read what it says here to you and then i suppose we can have a discussion of it as well because it to me it's it, it's not sounding good unfortunately so it's going to be set in the 1990s which of course it has to be because it's sort of like a prequel to the movies and it's just after bumblebee or what it's going to be whatever they want it to be but it's going to be set in the 1990s rise of the beast will take audiences on an action-packed globe-trotting adventure as the maximals predacons and terracons join the battle between the autobots and decepticons on earth nowhere a sharp young guy from Brooklyn and Elena, an ambitious, talented artifact researcher, are swept up in the conflict as Optimus Prime and the Autobots face a terrifying new nemesis bent on their destruction named Scourge, directed by Stephen Capel Jr. And, they, and there you go. Now, that to me already doesn't sound amazing. It doesn't have me gripped don't know why they always have to have this human element in there and i know of course in the cartoons of course you had you know spike with wick etc and daniel in the movie but for me i don't really know it's not really working it's just i don't that's my opinion let me know your let me know your feelings as well i just don't think i just think that they could make the movie so much better we've all said it we've all agreed it how good bumblebee was it was it was fantastic compared to the rest you know but if they just did a movie like the first 15 minutes of that it'd be amazing uh whether or not it's for the kids i don't know i'm going to just say that line to segue briefly into this because if you've got kids or if you are collecting cyberverse stuff yourself they're going to get a cheetor as well so they are really are they really are going to town with these Maximals, Predacons and of course the Beasts ready for the film. So even your Cyberverse is now getting a Cheetor. Um, robot mode's not too bad. Beast mode isn't the greatest. I think I took a picture of it just to show you, but maybe I didn't because it was so bad. Um, if you want to have a quick look at it, it's there. It's not looking the greatest, to be honest. Uh, you just saw what's coming up there. I've got a couple of Doctor Woos. I'm going to do one now and come back to it. So, of course, what we've got here is their version of Sea Spray, and he's just called Spray Drift. And I'm liking this, and I've got to confess, I'm liking more and more of these Doctor Wu things every time I look at them. Ape, Boostin from Boostin Boys on Instagram has been sending me some pictures of some absolutely amazing things uh, that, that look like they're going to be coming out. Um, they do brilliant reviews as well. He does uh, Pocket Robots. Uh, check out their reviews. They're brilliant. Um, there he is. Look, Spray Drift. Again, like the look of it, nice and chunky. I'm sure when they get the paint apps on it, it'll look really good. Uh, sticking with third party stuff right now. Um, Mechanic Toys, Mech, Mech Studio, MS27, Poison 1. This is obviously, I was going to say Astro Train, but it's not. It's Octane. He looks, I like it. I like it, whether it's um, any better than the Henke. Uh, generations chug one i mean I'm, I'm sure it's going to be much more detailed and much bigger but oh I, again i don't i i've got nothing against the third parties i just think i've got enough of the others but i like it and again i know people like them and i know people want to see them so i want to show you what i've seen and what i've found that's exactly the purpose of this channel that jet mode don't really like at all to be honest really don't like that but you can't fault the robot mode the robot mode's stunning that's why i've got a few pictures of it again all these are taken from the transformers websites like tfw 2005 etc again now we are back with another doctor Wu, um, and this is nemesis prime says so their take on nemesis prime uh prime commander and again i know we did a nemesis prime at the beginning that's why i didn't overload you with nemesis primes but this is obviously to, for people who don't really know much about doctor Wu, which includes myself i've got to palm my hand up it gives you an idea of how small they are so there's first hand sort of images and then we have got the much much better images there 
of, as I say, as they're calling him, uh, Prime Commander. I just want to make sure I've got that right. Yeah, Prime Commander. And he looks really good, doesn't he? Yeah, there it is. Prime Commander, Dr. Wu, E04. Liking the look of that. Really am liking the look of that. And that pretty much rounds up everything at the moment. Oh, no. Yeah, that I've got pictures of that's going on. Um, very, very lucky people in America. You're going to get to see, if you get tickets, obviously, the movie. Movie 86 is going to be, again, in theatres. Um, and once again, no news of that at all anywhere in the UK. Uh, maybe that'll change between now and when it actually comes out or if any independent cinemas um, are going to are gonna have any... No again, let me know. It's now Wednesday, obviously, August the 4th. And if anybody knows of anything that we're going to get this show over here, I would love to go and see that at the cinema. I was lucky enough to watch it at the cinema as a kid. And, you know, that was ages ago. So I'd love to go and watch it again. If anybody knows anything, let me know. And again, if you, I suppose if you're going to watch it in America again, make me jealous and let me know. Uh, right, a couple of other things. So what's going on uh, with this channel? First of all, I want to thank, I love this T-shirt, Mike Kincaid, Reflector Files. Don't get me wrong, I brought it. <laughs> he didn't send it me, but I just loved it. I saw him wearing it. I'm like, I need it. And he, and he sells them. So his name's Reflector Files on Instagram. He's got his own T-shirt obviously for sale and that's really really cool dino king brilliant and do you know what that segues into something a bit later do you know what i'll go there straight away so obviously i did the unboxing um of some of the figures that i was managed to get for everybody else uh by getting galaxy shuttle that means that i've completed all the autobots from the transformers victory cartoon which is of course what dino king is from so i'm going to do a brief quick video just with the autobots just showing all of them for people who have not seen them or um run aware who they are again my i'm really passionate about the japanese transformers so i'm going to get that up to show you guys um other things that's going on on this channel today uh i've, I've managed to purchase um uh, rodimus prime from robot recruits they sent it out for me yesterday so it should be arriving at some point today so i can do the rodimus prime kingdom review for you guys get it literally as soon as i get home i'm going to get it straight up get it on the channel so there's rodimus prime to look forward to i'm going to be doing a wild rider video as well original g1 um i'm going to be doing a g2 ramjet i brought one of them as well at the same time as rodimus the selects g2 selects ramjet I'm going to be doing that and then something i'm going to be doing again diving into something i've never even thought of or looked at but friends of the um channel and friend in until I meet him in person, friend online, Enput, I've mentioned him, the guy who did that amazingly nice gesture to get that book for me. He does some amazing, amazing custom figures. And I don't want to ruin anything by showing you some pictures on here, but he's done some, he's done a custom figure, um, an exclusive figure for Robot Recruits, who, which is the, as I say, online company where I buy most of, well, pretty much all my Transformers from um, in the UK. And yeah, he's done a custom figure, so I can show you guys that. So, I'm not going to be going doing customs myself, but the quality that he does, check him out. Input, stop motion reviews on YouTube, input on Instagram. Amazing stuff. His, his as I say, his customs are fantastic. So much so that I've, I purchased one from him and I can't wait to show you guys. It's another little alleyway that I didn't really want to go down to, but it's so good. And I can't wait to share that with you. Um, everything else again, you guys let me know. This is just as much your channel as it is mine. It, it's growing quite nicely. I'm crossing my fingers I'll, because something quite big should be happening this Friday. Whether or not it does or not, I don't know. Um, if it does, I'm sure you guys will find out just as fast as me. Um, and I don't say anything just in case it doesn't. So if it does, I will mention it next week. Um, and if it doesn't, hopefully it'll be next week and I can mention it then. Yeah. But yeah, let me know what you want to see. Let me know. I've just done yesterday, last night, the Reveal the Shield and the Hunt for the Decepticons toy line that somebody requested. So I'll put that up for them. Again, anything you want to see, guys, let me know. And thanks for watching. And of course, please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.